What's up, foodies? I'm back, y'all. I know I've been gone. I've been neglecting y'all and stuff like that. But it's all right. So today, I just... I'm having a little... um Before I get out here and drive, I had a taste for some Taco Bell. So I'm just sitting here and talking to y'all for a minute. So how... I hope... I see everybody been doing good. Y'all been posting y'all videos. So I just got a Dorito... Dorito Taco Supreme. I love all the juiciness. Mm. 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 I got some on my chin. Oh, and I got me some cinnamon twist. Yeah, when I say I love sweet and savory stuff. I'm about to just sour cream off my chin. <laughs> so, I um, I gotta do this. Uh, oh, I'm got the music on, y'all. Sorry. Um, I'm doing my nugget challenge later. I didn't want to do it, but my girl. It's whiny, whiny, whiny. I don't know how you how she pronounce. I think it's uh, whiny. But you know, we both from Detroit. She on the east, I'm on the west. So she was like, "You gotta do it." So I'm gonna do it today, and um, we gonna see how it go. But for right now, I need this, y'all. When I say I, I will feel like all about the pass out, and I've been watching videos of people eating. Not eating tacos, but just eating. So I'm like, I need something right now, and I got a taste of taco. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. And y'all know how good these Dorito tacos is. Man. Taco Bell, thank you. Because the chips is the bomb. And I know a lot of people made nachos at home with them uh, Dorito chips. For sure. But I've been doing really good, you guys. Just trying to figure out some things because it's getting like winter like here. Oh, okay, it's winter like. It's winter. <laughs> and. So, like, driving for Lyft, you know, it becomes a challenge because I never drove in the wintertime. I started in June. So, now that it's November and I know the snow is coming and all this good stuff, I've been trying to, like I said, the clinic I work at, you know, the hours are really skimpy. So, I'm trying to find a way to work from home. So, i seen a couple of uh, things um, where you could do, like, medical scribing. Like, you just basically listen in or um, uh, basically take a, a physician's report of a patient and you just make it out, make a whole, like, um, you just basically make their profile, basically. Like, like, what he put in, what he said, what the, diag you know, whatever need to be assessment you know, everything like that, huh? I'm looking to go into that and uh, do that online. And um, maybe, um, but I got to get my typing skills up because I haven't been typing in a long time. And my words per minute is like really low. So, But I know medical terminology, and I know all that stuff. So that's what I'm working on now. And um, I'm going to be um, looking into doing that. But mm, my. Mm. 
Mm, mm, mm. Oh, good. The best breakfast ever. But anyway, I don't know. So, everything is good. And so, me and my boyfriend, we went out last night to this, um, it's called Punchline uh, Comedy Bar. Yes. Our first time being there. And y'all, when I say that's the best laugh I didn't had in a long time, like I love comedy. Like anything comedy, I'm in. You know, like when I'm on Facebook, that's all I'm sharing is funny stuff and things like that. So anything comedy, I am so there. And when I say they had my back hurting, everything. Mm. Because when you can relate to a joke, it's funny. Like, and that's why it's good to grow as a person. Because if you can't laugh at your struggle, like once you get a certain age, you should not be dealing with childish things, period. Like, Oh, I can't, you know, I feel like by the age of 25, you should know what you want to do. You should know what direction you need to be going in. And you like, and if you don't, I think you got to reach out to be, you know, <clears throat> sorry, you have to reach out to support people, to, to support groups. They have so many support groups that people just don't know about. I don't even know about them, but I'm about to start looking into them because Sometimes you just want a person to understand where you're coming from. Because when a person don't understand where you're coming from, they just, I'm not saying they're going to always judge you, but they're going to look like, but we all got it together by the age of 25, you know. So at this point, there's no excuse, you know, for you not out here doing what you got to do, period. And that's why I don't make any excuses. I talk to my boyfriend, like, look, you know, I've been looking at clinics and, but like I'm saying, dialysis, most of the clinics open up so early. I can, I'm not getting up that early anymore. Like, that's just something I'm not willing to do at this point in my life. Because it's just, I'm not getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning to go to work. If I got an option. Or, you know, I'm, I mean, the earliest I want to get up is maybe 5. That's the earliest. You know, if it was my ideal type of thing... It'd be easy to get to work at 9 o'clock. I could get my daughter to school. He could pick her up when he get off. If I get off at 5. Like, that's my ideal schedule. 9 to 5. That's it. But. Mm. At the clinic. one to 9.30. That's a great schedule. But they don't have any open positions. And um oh, they got a new clinic opening up um in Canton. <laughs> I'm not driving to Canton to get to work. I had a drive in Canton when I say it was horrible driving out there. No. So, I just say to people, be realistic with the travel and with the job. Period. Because I, I didn't make a whole lot of mistakes when I was younger just getting jobs because I needed a job. Which was a good thing because I needed to make money. But, I found myself quitting those jobs real soon. You know, like sooner than I thought. Because it just wasn't working for me. Like, period. Like, I knew I wasn't comfortable with working with, you know, working in plants and stuff like that. Like, I'm just not a plant person. So, 
I just stuck to healthcare. I'm like, well, if I'm going to get paid low and get worked, I might as well do what I love. And so I just kept working those low-paying caregiver jobs. But it's crazy out here. So if you don't know your direction, you better figure it out soon, especially if you approach 25 because... People can understand when you're young and you just don't have no kind of like knowing where you're trying to go. They understand that. But once you get 25 and, you know, you start getting up in age, people are like, look, you got to figure out something. You can't just sit around and not do nothing. And that's why I tell a lot of people, if you got a vehicle, you got insurance on it, whatever, you may not like a bunch of strangers in your car. Like I, I was like really skeptical with Lyft, but I did it because I'm like, well... Who gonna help me with my daughter? I needed to be really flexible to make sure that I was there for my daughter. So that's why I took Lyft. And like now, like I say, if um oh excuse me y'all, ah oh, shoot, I didn't pick, I didn't put do not disturb. Hold on y'all. All right, I'm back. Yes. Okay. So um yeah, so I took on Lyft and. It made me some really good money, but I'm just getting worried because I know I don't like to drive in the snow. I don't like to drive in bad weather. If I don't have to, um, you know, sometimes these rides are unpredictable. Just like that one ride, it took me all the way up to Flint. That was that one ride. And I'm like, you know, I just feel like it needs to be a questionnaire on what a person would like to do. Because I really didn't want to drive all the way to Flint in my car. But I had to, and I felt like, okay, I'm going to do it. I like to get people to work, inner city stuff, a little bit of outer city, whatever, you know, and um, that's about it. But when you sending me all the way to downtown Flint down there, like, I just didn't want to do that. And it's hard to tell a rider, like, look, I can't take you there. I'm not going up there. You know, they got to find another ride and all that good stuff, but... Or the next time that happens, I will politely say, I cannot take this ride, you know, because it's just too much. I don't, I still have to use my car for my own personal reasons. So I don't want to run my car down to the ground for lift. I'm not going to do that because I still need my car to make sure, you know, I get to where I need to go and my daughter is good and stuff like that. So for the most part, do what you got to do until you get to where you need to be and, um, don't always look for somebody to understand your situation. We all been through it. We all done had to live with somebody. We all done been broke. We all done been everything. So, and if you haven't, congratulations. But for the most part, no excuses. Do what you got to do. Get out here. You know, because the excuses ain't going to do nothing but get you right where you at. Nowhere. So, with that being said... I want to eat this other taco. I really, really do. Maybe I should have some bite. Woo! I want to leave some room for this challenge later, so I don't want to eat too much throughout this day. So, but y'all, when I say I love like my tacos being loaded and that light is like glam. Here we go. Yes, sour cream. Woo! The best. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. I mean, I miss y'all. Well, when you ain't, when you got to get yourself together. The last thing you're trying to think about is making a video. And I love making my video. And when you got to get it right, you got to take care of yourself. Gotta put, they got oh, to be put on the back burner. Mm -mm. Mm. Oh, my God. Mm, 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 mm. I say best breakfast ever. Mm -hmm. 
tacos. You know what the worst is? I just seen somebody get pulled over. When you see somebody get pulled over, <laughs> it's not funny, but and they pull up the tow truck like, oh my god, like you about to go to jail. Especially on a Friday or a Saturday, it's a wrap because you got to wait till Monday. Trust me, I've been in jail a couple times. Not to brag, I'm just saying. Those are the worst days to go to jail on. So like I said, I just wanted to check in with y'all and say, hey. Mm. Oh, God. And then I had to fix my dang on um, heating door actuator. I don't know. I drive a Chevy Impala. So apparently like 400 other thousand people was going through this because I had to look it up on YouTube. And see how to how to get it, how to replace it. And when I say I did that, y'all, I did that. I changed it. it. Was right under my glove compartment. It was like two bolts and a little, almost like a little piece you gotta just pop out. And I say I changed that thing so quick. I showed you got my heat back to working. So that was messing me up. I didn't drive too much last week. <sighs> so. Man, getting older sucks. I can't wait to the good part because I know a lot of people are like, oh, getting older is the best. When? <laughs> Where? I'm about to be 31 in like 19 days. So, I don't see no fun in this. I'm, I hate it. I'm, I just don't understand. Maybe when I get 40, I'll be good. I don't know. If I get older, you want to be lazy. You don't want to do nothing. Because when I say, I used to be everywhere when I was late teens, early 20s, mid 20s. When I say I stayed gone, y'all, I stayed partying up until I had my daughter. And I stayed partying a little bit after I had her, but I stayed gone. I stay on the move, and I'm feeling it right now. Like, yeah, you need to sit down. My boyfriend, too. I mean, he didn't do the stuff I did. He been an old man all his life, I think. See, like, I ain't nothing. I'm going to work all my life. I'm like, boy, bye. You better have some fun. I have fun. Mm. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Mm. Done. Oh, my God. So, I guess I'm going to see y'all later. Stuff on my mouth. One more here. Mm. Mm -hmm. I want to stop and give me some coffee, but when I'm driving... My stomach get the bubbling. Mm -mm. Like not today, Jesus. Not today. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna see y'all later. It was good talking to y'all. 
Peace out.